Hi guys, Carla here to talk to you about the amazing update we recently released for a Yeet WooCommerce HX Product Filter plugin. For this new version, we try to change everything we could to give you guys even more options and a 100% mobile-friendly design. If you have the old version and you want to keep on using that, you can. The widgets will keep working the same and you won't have any compatibility issues. Now, if you want to take full advantage of the new options, you have to change from the old widgets into the new presets. This is going to be very easy to accomplish and in just a couple of minutes and with a few clicks. Do you want to know more? I will guide you step by step through this procedure. Before we get into it, let me remind you of course to like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell down below so that you know every time we have a new video for you. Now, let's get to it. Okay guys, so here is my Eat Amazing shop. Here I have installed the previous version of our plugin and you see that I have several filters, filter by size, by price, by color. All of these filters were created with widgets because that's the way you created filters in the previous version of our plugin. Now, if we go to my dashboard, let's check out the appearance widgets submenu. You'll see that I have all of my filters created as widgets right here in my default sidebar. You might have them in a different sidebar, but I have them right here. Here's my filter by size, my filter by price. And if we go over to Yeet, Ajax product filter, you'll see that I have the options front end, custom style, settings, and SEO. Now, you have to get into plugin, install plugins, active, and here you'll find the plugin, Yeet WooCommerce Ajax Product Filter Premium. And right here is the option to update the plugin. So we click on update now, updating, and their plugin has been updated. Now, if I go to my site again and refresh, you can see that nothing has changed here. I still have my filter by size, by price, by color. The fact that you update the new version doesn't mean that you will lose the widgets that you have before as filters. You have to change that yourself. So let's go back to my dashboard And let's go to Yeet, Ajax product filter. And you see that now we have a different menu than the one I showed you before. Now we have the filter presets tab. And right here, you can create as many presets as you want to. And here I have a new option to convert widgets in a preset. So this one is the option that we're going to use. Click here. You'll find a link to our documentation here where you can see how to install the plugin, what changes are to be made, what options you have, everything you need to know. And this right here explains that this is a tool that we created so that you can convert the widgets into the preset very easily and that you won't lose any information you had in your filters before. So let's convert your widgets in a preset. Okay, so now we see that a preset has been automatically created. The name is default sidebar. And this is because I had my filters in my default sidebar. So that's why it's named like this. If you expand this, you'll see that I have all of my filters. I have my filter by size, by price, by material, by color, and by items in stock and on sale. If I click here, I have all of the options selected, all of my terms right here. I have all of the colors, which is right here. And next thing we have to do is go to Appearance, Widgets. The preset is not in my page right now, okay? In my site, I still have these widgets. So what I have to do right now is delete all of these widgets first. So 
remove log. Okay, update. If I go back to my site and refresh right now, I don't have any filter left because I have just eliminated the widgets, which were my filters. So now in order to show the preset right here in my site, I have to go back to my dashboard and right here in my default sidebar, I'm going to add my need Ajax filter preset. Okay. Right here, you're going to have the option to choose whatever preset you already have on your presets tab. The one that I'm using, of course, is my default sidebar. Let me update back to the site refresh so there it is now i have the filters added to my side as a preset filter by size right here by price by material by color and in stock or on sale let's go back to my dashboard for a final note let's go to yeet ajax product filter so first thing, you have a shortcode right here. You can use your preset as a shortcode, as a Gutenberg block, or as a widget, which is what we did just now. Uh, you can change the name of your preset right here. You can name it whatever you want. You can have as many presets as you want. You can have as many filters as you want inside each preset. And by expanding each filter, you'll see that you have all these new and exciting options waiting for you. So that's how you can update your plugin and convert your widgets into presets. Okay guys, so that was it for our video today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and we'll see you again for our next video.